How's it going, pre calc kids? Today we're going to look at 5.3. We're going to do it all in one shot, okay? Because uh, pretty much I want to introduce to you guys two formulas. And I'm going to show you how you use them. And then we're going to be all set, okay? Okay, we're looking at sum and difference identities. What this is is another way to write cosine or sine, just in case you can't use the calculator, which you won't be able to on the test. Um, and then you can still get the same answer using things you know. Okay, the first one we'll look at, definitely, definitely noteworthy, definitely, definitely important. That's cosine of u plus v equals cosine of u times cosine of v plus sine of u times sine of v. Okay? And if you use minus, I'm sorry, if you use plus, you use the minus. If you use minus, you use the plus. Okay? So you have the opposite sign. Okay, you guys, keep that in mind. Opposite sign. Well, for cosine. For cosine, it's the opposite sign. Okay, so if one's plus, the other one's going to be minus. So let's take a look at this. Find the exact value of cosine of 75 without using a calculator. <gasps> Well, we gotta use our unit circle, guys. In fact, let's see if I can't pull up the unit. Okay, let's take a look. Well, when I look at this, well, come on, Mr. Really. When I look at this guy, there's no 75 here, right? No 75 degrees. But I have a 60, right? Alright, but that doesn't help me. If I have a 45, what's 45 plus 35, guys? Well, it's just a 30. That equals my 75. So I can rewrite this as cosine of 45 plus 30. Because 45 plus 30 is 75. So now when I use my rule, where I use, here I'll even use some different colors here. Boom. So I'm going to do cosine. 45 times cosine of 30. Now look at guys, since this is a, an addition here, I use subtraction minus, again, our rules right up here. So if this is my u, that's my v, u, v, catching some uv rays. So times my sine. 45 times cosine 30. Okay, uv. Well, yes, remember what cosine 45 is? Please say yes. Remember cosine? Cosine and sine of 45 is, are both pi over 2. Oops. So that guy's going to be pi over 2. Not pi over 2, square root of 2 over 2. Square root of 2 over 2. Square root 2 over 2. That should be a sign. This is a mess. Okay. So I look at my 30 degrees. My cosine is pi. Why do I keep saying pi? My cosine is square root 3 over 2. And my sine is a half. Square root 3 over 2. This is a half, right? Okay, so here I get square root 6 over 4 minus square root 2 over 4. So I get square root 6 minus square root 2 all over 4. And that is my final answer. Okay? Okay? So want to try another one for fun? Let's try one. Let's make one up. Let's find cosine of 15 degrees. This is a really common one they do a lot. Well, now we got to think about how do we get to 15? Well, about 45 minus 30. That's 15. Because we got to use these ones, guys. We got to use the ones we know. So that's equal to cosine 
well, 45 minus 30, right? Which now, if I use this as my u and this is my v, I get cosine of 45 times cosine of 30. That's minus, so this will be plus sine of 45 times sine of 30, which we did all these before, right? That's just root 2 over 2. Cosine of 30 is what? Root 3 over 2. Sine of 45 is root 2 over 2. Sine of 30 is a half. So actually we're going to get, you know, root 6 over 4 plus root 2 over 4. So root 6 plus root 2 all over 4. Okay. Same answer, just one addition, one subtraction. Okay. Alright, let's move on. Let's learn something. Let's clear this guy off too. It's getting kind of messy. Oh, next one. Definitely, definitely noteworthy. Uh. Sine of u plus v is the same formula, except here we have sine times sine of u times cosine of v plus sine of v times cosine of u. In these ones, the signs match. Let's get signs match. If one's positive, the other's positive. If one's negative, the other one's negative. Okay. So let's take a look. Write the following expression as a sine or a cosine of an angle. Okay. So I know it's not cosine because these two don't they don't match up. So I'm going to be using sine. And since this is adding, I know I'm going to be adding in here. And what am I going to be adding? Well, pi over four and pi over three. No. What is pi over four plus pi over three? Well. Common denominator. What do you get? Seven pi over twelve. And you're done. Okay. Let's do one more for fun. Okay. All right. Let's find sine of pi over twelve. Okay. Well, now I gotta look at my hand in a circle. Oops. I need to get pi over 12, right? I'm gonna convert these to pi over 12 to make my life easier. Well, wouldn't this be 2 pi over 12? And this one would be what? 3 pi over 12. And this guy would be 4 pi over 12. Let's find a common denominator, guys. So how can I get just pi? Well, there's two ways to do it. What's 3 pi over 12 minus 2 pi over 12? Well, it's pi over 12, right? Right? Yeah. Or I could go the 4 pi over 12 minus 3 pi over 12. Let's do that one because we haven't went that way in a while. Okay. I'm just going to use these two. Oops, you do the wrong way. So that's equal to sine of 4 pi over 12 minus 3 pi over 12. Right, which reduces to sine of pi over 3 minus pi over 4. Now that's a minus, right? So it means it's going to be a minus over here. Okay? So I go sine of u times cosine of v minus sine of v, right? Make sure. Yep. This is kind of the same as a Coke formula you guys are going to learn. The good old quotient rule. Times cosine. Oh, that should be a 4. Because I use v, u. u, v, v, u. Soldier Boy's favorite equation because deals with you. Sorry. Okay. 
Now here's a quick tip for you guys. Cosine sine of pi over 4, you guys should know by now that square root 2 over 2. Right? Now what's sine of pi over 3? You guys remember? Hopefully you do. It's square root 3 over 2. If you don't, that's your sine. That's your cosine, right? Cosine's a half, sine squared 3 over 2. Root, not a root, half. So guess what you're going to get, guys? Root 6 over 4, minus root 2 over 4. Root 6, minus root 2, all over 4. At the end, that's where we're going to end it. We're going to try some of these. They're actually pretty fun.